If you're planning a move to Merritt Island, you've probably realized just how big of a city Merritt Island is. It's over 29 miles from end to end. Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the different sections of Merritt Island to help you find the right location to make your move right after this. My name is Eric Larkin and I'm a real estate agent here in the Cocoa Beach area. And I do regular videos just like this one about living, working, playing, and of course, real estate here in the Space Coast. If this is something that you're interested in, you should probably hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified every time I put new videos up just like this one. And if you are moving to our area, I'm sure that you have questions. Well, I get questions every day from folks just like you that are either moving into our area or out of the, out of the area that I love to answer, and I would love to hear from you. You could either call me, text me, email me, comment below. You can hunt me down on social media and send me a direct message. However you like to communicate, I'm great with too. Let's get on with the show. Now, as I mentioned, Merritt Island is a long city. It's over 29 miles from end to end, and it is the fourth largest city here in Brevard County. Uh, it's divided up into two zip codes. You have the 32953, which is basically 520 north to the Space Center, and the 32952, which is 520 south to the Mathers Bridge area. Also included in the 32952 is North Banana River Drive on the east end of town. And to help you with your house hunting, our MLS has divided the island of Merritt Island into six sections. We have the north part, north of 528, central, which is between 528 and 520, south, which is south of 520. You have the North Banana River Drive area and also Newfound Harbor Drive area. And there's also south of Pineda, which will take you to Dragon Point and Mathers Bridge. The last 12 months, there was over 880 properties sell in the whole island of Merritt Island, most of which were single family homes and will be the focus of any home sales in this video. And going from the largest area with the most transactions to the smallest, we're starting with the central Merritt Island area. Central Merritt Island is 520 in the north end to 528. The western boundary is the Indian River and the eastern boundary of this area is Sykes Creek. Of the 880 homes that have sold in Merritt Island, 290 of the sales were here in the central part. The home sales for the last 12 months in central Merritt Island, there are over 290 home sales that have happened. Price range from the low end of $46,000 for a one bedroom condo off of Lucas, all the way up to a $1,450,000 home on the Indian River. It was four bedrooms with the pool built in 2007 on over an acre of land. Most of the home sales that happened in Central Merritt Island were either in Catalina Isles, Diana Shores, or in Hampton Homes. The homes that were for sale and that are available, you could either get dry lots, you can get them directly on the Indian River, there are canals that lead to the Sykes Creek, or you can live directly on the Sykes Creek itself. Being in the middle of Merritt Island, your main corridors to get through town are either along 520 or Courtney Parkway, which is also known as State Road 3. These areas are also where all the commercial properties are at. This is where you'll find your retail, your restaurants and office buildings. Merritt Island itself has eight schools, five of which are in central Merritt Island. You have Merritt Island High School, Edgewood Junior Senior High, Myla Elementary, Gardendale Elementary, and Lewis Carroll Elementary too. The next section of Merritt Island I'd like to talk to you about is South Merritt Island. It shares the 520 border south to the Pineda Causeway. And along that 520 corridor is also more shopping, more restaurants, more retail space. And that's also along the south part of State Road 3. An interesting part of South Merritt Island, there is a light industrial area off of Cone Road. Plus there is the Merritt Island Airport. This is part of the Tyco Airport Authority. So if you want to fly in a biplane or uh, have a helicopter fly, fly over the county, take lessons to learn how to fly a plane you could do that all at the Merritt Island Airport. Also, if you're at the beach and you see the planes flying overhead with the banner ads flying behind it, those launch from the Merritt Island Airport. South Merritt Island has a diverse selection of properties for you to live in. Last 12 months, over 217 homes have sold, ranging from $81,000 for a one bedroom condo at Sunset Bay, all the way up to a 3.36 million river-to-river -river estate on over nine acres of land. 
The age of homes that sold in South Merritt Island were anywhere from the early 1900s all the way up to brand new 2021. Most of the home sales in South Merritt Island happened in Merritt Ridge, Bel Air Estates, or Island Beach Subdivision. And here's a kind of cool note, 15 of the home sales were over a million dollars in South Merritt Island too. The home sites are either dry lots, you can get them on the Banana River, you can get them on the Indian River, and there's also some of the larger estates that connect Banana River to the Indian River too. Two of Merritt Island's eight schools are in South Merritt Island. You have Tropical Elementary and Thomas Jefferson Middle School. South Merritt Island also has two parks. You have Osteen Park on the Indian River and Rotary Park just south of those two schools. Next section of Merritt Island I'd like to introduce you to is North Merritt Island. It is the gateway to the Space Center, located north of 528 in the Barge Canal on the southern border, all the way up to the Kennedy Space Center on the northern border. You have Indian River on the west and Banana River on the east. Now in North Merritt Island, there aren't any, any schools, but they do have some amazing parks and recreation areas. You've got Mitchell Ellington Park, which is over a hundred acre park for you to enjoy with the Brevard County Park System. You can play football, baseball, soccer, tennis. There's pavilions for you to rent and there's some exercise trails as well. There's Manatee Cove Park, which offers pavilions and also a non-motorized boat ramp. So you can go canoeing, kayaking, or paddle boarding. And it's almost guaranteed to see manatees there at Manatee Cove Park. You've got Pine Island Conservation Area. Pine Island Conservation Area has over seven miles of trails and attracts hikers, bird watchers, and also kayakers standing up paddle boarders too. Just like the rest of Merritt Island, most of the home sales here in North Merritt Island are single family homes, but you also have uh, some mobile homes, manufactured homes, half duplexes, town homes, and also some condos for you to choose from. The price range of homes here in North Merritt Island was as low as 22,000 for a single wide manufacturer on a quarter acre lot, all the way up to a $1,255,000 home on the Indian River. And even though there are some older homes that were built in North Merritt Island in the early 1900s, you'll find that most of the homes are 1980 and newer. And if you are looking for brand new construction, there are several communities for you to choose from here. Most of the home sales in North Merritt Island were in Sunset Lakes, which is a gated home community that would start construction in the late 1990s. And also in Egret's Landing, which is one of the brand new home communities off of Hall Road. And if you're looking for space, North Merritt Island is the place for you. Over 40 of the homes that had sold last year were on an acre or larger track of land. Next section of Merritt Island we're going to talk to you about is North Banana River Drive. This section is the north end is 528, the south end is 520, the east boundary is the Banana River, and the west boundary is Sykes Creek. Now this is all residential except for a little section of land off 520 where you'll find the Walmart, a couple car dealerships, a strip mall or two, and maybe a gas station. Mm -hmm. Off of North Banana River Drive, you've got three amazing parks to check out. You've got Kelly Park, both the East Park and the West Park to enjoy. Kelly Park East is where there are pavilions. There is a boat ramp that you could launch your boats. Plus it's an excellent spot to launch your kayaks, paddle boards, or canoes from to enjoy the Banana River. Kelly Park West is for your outdoor activities. You can, they have multi-purpose fields for like soccer or football. There are basketball and tennis that's there as well. Plus you have the exercise trails to enjoy too. There's the Ulame Wildlife Sanctuary. This on the south end of Sykes Creek is over a 600 acre park for you to get out and enjoy. You can go hiking, running, your non-motorized bikes. I've even seen horses back there too. Along these trails, there's some great wildlife for you to enjoy. You've got Sykes Creek on your west side of the property as you're going through and exploring this area. There's also Kiwanis Park. Now, technically it's not North Banana River Drive. It's not central Merritt Island, but it's right there in the area. The 16 acre park offers a boat ramp so you can get out and enjoy the Sykes Creek. There's multiple places that you can launch your kayaks, stand up paddle boards or canoes from. Plus there are racquetball courts, tennis courts and baseball courts too. Home sales for the last 12 months off of the North Banana River Drive area range from the low end of $35,000 for a one bedroom co-op. Yes, there are co-ops here in Brevard County. This is one of the few that we have all the way up to a brand new construction, four bedroom house on a 
0.43 acre lot that's on the bay overlooking Milford Point with easy access to the Banana River for $949,000. Most of the home sales happened in Surfside Estates, Better Island, and, and Holiday Cove. Now, what is great about those subdivisions, along with most of the homes that are along North Banana River Drive, you have some that are directly on the Banana River. You have some that are directly on Sykes Creek. If you're on the west side of Banana River Drive, you have canals that will lead you to the side cre Sykes Creek, and there are some small bridges that will connect you to the east side of the Banana River. And the homes that are on the east side of North Banana River Drive, those canals lead you directly to the Banana River without having to deal with any bridges to go under. The Newfound Harbor Drive area of Marin Island is a peninsula. It starts at 520 and heads south four miles to the very southern tip. Also in this area is South Banana River Drive too. This area does have some commercial uh, properties at the very north end near 520. There's also a rather large manufactured home park right on the Banana River. Other than that, it's almost all residential. There's also a brand new marina called Marker 24. Just like the rest of the Merritt Island area, Newfound Harbor is almost all single family houses. There are a few mobile homes that are for sale and also condominium complex. Home sales off of the Newfound Harbor Drive area, there were 66 last year, ranging from $76,000 for a single wide in the Piney Woods community, all the way up to a $1.59 million brand new construction in Marker 24. These homes, ranged in price from 1960 all the way up to brand new construction. And you'll either have dry lots, you'll have lots that were on the Banana River, you could have homes that were also on the Sykes Creek, and there's a few of them that were river to river too. And finally, the sixth section of Merritt Island is the very southern tip that's located from Piney to Causeway South to Dragon Point. You'll notice as you drive down Tropical Trail underneath Pineda Causeway, the speed limit drops. The road gets a little more narrow and the homes seem bigger as you're heading south. Almost all the homes here have some type of water access either to the Banana River or to the Indian River. It's not uncommon to have a house that has river to river access to. The very southern tip of Merritt Island is referred to as Dragon Point. And at one time, there was a 65 foot dragon sculpture there named Annie. She had red eyes and she would breathe fire. Unfortunately, storms and vandalism uh, had led to the decay of Annie and she is no longer there, but her legend lives on. The section of Merritt Island is also connected to Indian Harbor Beach by Mathers Bridge is a swing bridge. So as boats are either entering the Banana River or heading out to the Banana River, the bridge opens to the side. It's kind of cool. All right, but the home sales in this part of town, there's not as many houses on the southern tip of Merritt Island as there are on the rest of Merritt Island, and the sales aren't near as many either. Last year, there were seven home sales that have happened, ranging from a $620,000 two-bedroom home with about 100 foot of water access to a $1.748 million estate that offered river to river access. So if you are planning a move to Merritt Island, as you can see, there are tons of opportunities for, for you from either the one bedroom condo that's under $100,000 to the multi-million dollar multi-acre estate. If you want a dry lot, no problem. If you're looking for a specific age of homes, there are options for you too. If you want brand new constructions, there are five developments that are happening that you can get brand new homes in Merritt Island. So if you have questions about the area, I would love to hear from you. You can call me, you can text me, you can comment below. And if you stayed this long, you obviously liked the video. And if you haven't done so already, you should probably hit that subscribe button that's popping up right there. And also, I'm queuing up two more videos for you to enjoy about the Merritt Island area, too. My name is Eric Larkin with Remax Aerospace. I appreciate you stopping in. I'll see you on the next show.